Well, this is your granny speaking. I don't know if you can tell, but see if I can show you where I'm headed here. Up the ski lift for the second time. Tell you what, this is a nice way to get to the top of the mountain. So today I'm, uh, or, or this run, I'm getting ready to do the uh, Camber 29er. You can see it hanging right here. Little bits of it anyway, and we'll uh, we'll get a little bit more video of that at the top. Talk a little bit more about what I think is really a very important bike. I think it really is going to be the Everyman's 29er. Remember we were talking about four inches of travel being that sweet spot in a full suspension 29er. It's enough to ride a rough trail, not quite all mountain, but maybe, and uh, yet it can still have a suspension design that'll climb well. You don't feel bad having a lighter weight rim, uh, wheel set and stuff on it, right? Really maybe the, uh, the best all around. So uh, this bike, you know, is kind of slotted in between or the Stump Jumper FSR with its bigger travel and uh, uh, you know slacker head angles, and the Epic with its equivalent travels. Both of these bikes, the Camera and the Epic, at 100 millimeters front and rear. This got a slacker head tube angle, a little bit more laid back feeling to it, a little bit burlier feeling to it. Uh, you're giving up the brain, so it's got your back to your uh, Fox shock with the Pro pedal, which you know for where most people live, that isn't a bad you know bad thing and the price is going to be attractive so uh getting ready to see what it does in the meantime that's where i came from yeah huh? that's where we're going we'll see all right so let's take a look at the camber uh, in a little better spot than on the chairlift first of all you know that's a really good looking bike i I had to say that the kind of copper brown and white creamy white paint scheme is really good looking. You see it kind of says camber there on the back of the seat tube. We'll get a look at that in a minute. So, uh, you know, you can imagine a, a whole lot of people looking for a bike that isn't as racy as the Epic and yet uh, isn't quite as full on as the FSR at an attractive price. This is going to hit a price point. Those aren't. Um, you know, it's got uh, kind of a mix of SRAM and XT on it. So, uh, like I said, no brain. That saves a little bit. You can see the nice uh, camber logo there on the back of the seat tube. It's a good looking bike. Um, back to Pro Pedal again, which does feel like a little bit of a step backwards in some ways from uh, having to, you know, the brain working for me all this time. But I'm going to run it down the trail uh, the way you see it. I'm going to try it with a little bit of Pro Pedal on, Pro Pedal off. I'm used to that with other bikes I've got and kind of just see how it feels. Mostly I'm going downhill, not a whole lot of climbing here. But I assume, you know, it's gonna climb like a pro pedal bike. You turn it on, it doesn't move a whole lot. You know, you can ride trail that way and when it gets rough, you're gonna to wanna to flip it off for most for the descents. But uh, I think the camber for 2011 is gonna be pretty sought after. Uh, I believe in 29er only hits two levels of um, components. Doesn't quite go to the top like the 26er has. I may get that wrong, but I think that's right. But in any case, uh, what I'm riding today, this is the Pro. So I do have what I believe is the upper end version of it. Still haven't seen too much uh, details on the camera yet. But anyway, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna ride this thing downhill and see how it goes. Talk to you later.